It's not a good draft for quarterbacks, it sounds like. It's a whole class, man. But the NFL clearly thought very little of this draft class. Every so often, there's that surefire guy who, like, you think can't miss. There's, I don't think there's any can't miss guys. Who knows if someone gets drafted in the second and third round that they thought was just like on paper, just some guy, and he turns out to be unbelievable. Brock Purdy grew up in Queen Creek, a suburb of Phoenix, Arizona. Purdy's going to keep it working that right side once again. Dies for the goal line. Touchdown, Perry. Purdy, soft touch. Touchdown, Pumas. Purdy looking for somebody. Has his receiver. Touchdown, Perry. He spent his high school days at Perry High School, where he put up a 27-13 record. His senior season, he was named Arizona's Gatorade Player of the Year. He was a three-star prospect and committed to Iowa State University. Oddly enough, Purdy started as a third-string quarterback in his first season at Iowa State. Purdy looking into the end zone, flushed out of the pocket, on the move, touchdown! Looking into the corner, Hutchinson, he's got it, touchdown! In four seasons, Purdy completed 66% of his passes for over 12,000 yards. He threw 81 touchdowns and 33 interceptions. His next step was to prepare for the NFL Draft. There's a good chance with how few actual guys are so out there. So all these guys stink coming out this year in the NFL? Well, who knows if someone gets drafted in the second and third round that they thought was just like on paper, just some guy, and he turns out to be unbelievable. So that could always happen, obviously. But I think in a lot of those years, the reason why they're in the third, fourth round or whatever is because there's other quarterbacks that are being... I think this particular time, a lot of scouts are like, yeah, there is really nobody up at the top. The 2022 quarterback class was a bit different compared to others. No one really stood out. He runs a straight line and it's a 4 6 7. It's a phenomenal time. It's easy for him. He's got a real, real pop to the ball when it comes out of his hands. The top prospects were Malik Willis from Liberty and Kenny Pickett from Pittsburgh. Pickett and the pressure forces him to roll out. Now he wants to throw to the end zone. Touchdown! But even then, not many teams were sold. That was evident in the 2022 NFL Draft. Kenny, what's up? We're about to make you a Pittsburgh Steelers, brother. Congratulations to you and your family. Pickett was the first quarterback taken, selected at number 20 by the Steelers. This was the latest the first quarterback was taken off the board since 1997. Things got worse with Malik Willis, who was projected to be taken at earliest second overall by some. He ended up falling to the third round to the Titans. The Tennessee Titans select Malik Willis, All right. quarterback, oh. Liberty. Wow, there we go. A few picks before Willis, Desmond Ritter was drafted to the Falcons. You ready to be a Falcon? Yes, sir. Round after round, quarterbacks were taken, but Purdy never heard his name called until the very last pick. Final pick of the 2022 NFL Draft. So the 47th Mr. Irrelevant, the San Francisco 49ers select Brock Purdy, a quarterback from Iowa State. Purdy became a San Francisco 49er. He was given the title of Mr. Irrelevant. Quick thank you to all you guys, the media. Uh, since I got here, you guys have been awesome. And faithful, thank you very much for everything. It's been crazy, man. Just uh, all the 
comebacks at Levi's, comebacks on the road. I love you guys. So, see ya. The 49ers quarterback room was interesting to say the least. San Francisco traded up in 2021 to draft the successor to Jimmy Garoppolo, Trey Lance. The plan was for Garoppolo to play in 2021, then trade him and let Lance take over in 2022. No deal could be made to move Garoppolo, so they kept him as a second string quarterback behind Lance in 2022. While all this was going on, Purdy battled and secured his spot as the third string. on this play as he kept it and absorbed quite the hit. Kind of got folded underneath as Monet and Barton both made the hit. In week two of the 2022 season, the hopeful future of the franchise, Trey Lance, suffered a season-ending broken ankle. San Francisco was forced to turn to Garoppolo. Here's a play action by Garoppolo. Looks left and a throw. Wide open, Ross Welly. Ross Welly will die for the end zone. Welcome back. Jimmy Garoppolo! Jimmy Garoppolo filled in nicely, leading the Niners to a 7-4 record until Week 13 against the Dolphins. Garoppolo in trouble, and he is set! That thing doomed from the start. Well, I got worse news. Jimmy Garoppolo's on the cart headed for the locker room right in front of you there. Wow. Garoppolo essentially suffered a season-ending injury. With just one more option, head coach Kyle Shanahan turned to the man everyone overlooked, Brock Purdy. Play clock again, down to two, they get it off. Purdy looks to throw, Yusek, touchdown San Francisco. Purdy underneath for the touchdown, it's McCaffrey. Mr. Irrelevant to many, he becomes extremely relevant now. Purdy, back to throw. Pressure coming, steps away, looking to run, and he walks it in for the touchdown. He just had that thing about him when he walked on the Purdy. Floor. Purdy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Purdy, Purdy makes a swim move and finds Debo Samuel. Are you kidding me? What a play, and the crowd loves it from Brock Purdy. Purdy loaded up, going deep. He's got a man. Are you kidding? Touchdown 49ers! This kid blew me away in this game. This kid played like a poised veteran. Yeah. What's coming? Purdy, lofting, going deep, has McCaffrey, he's got it! Fake toss, two fake tosses, and then the Kittle over the middle, touchdown San Francisco. Hey, bang, bang, not again! One skill of block, going deep, Purdy's got him! A 34-yard laser! Purdy exceeded everyone's expectations. He threw 13 touchdowns to only four interceptions. He went undefeated in the regular season, leading the 49ers to a 13-4 record and the NFC West title. Purdy scans, dances, and finds McCaffrey who broke loose. Touchdown, San Francisco! Brock Purdy became the fifth rookie quarterback to lead his team to a conference championship. Purdy has time. He sees one. Ayuk catches at the 10. Here's Purdy. Pressure from Parsons again. Gets rid of it. Jennings in stride. And he's out of bounds in field goal range. Odin up over the middle. Oh, what a catch by Kittle. Are you kidding? And that'll do it. The 49ers back to the championship game. We got to get up to our quarterback, man. Hey, man, it's real simple. How do you want to be remembered? One more workout. All you got to do is one. One more workout. One. All you got, bro? Come on, bro. That's all we got. In the NFC Championship, with just one game left before the Super Bowl, Everything you can imagine that could go wrong happened to the 49ers. Out of fake pressure coming. Purdy, yes. This ball is clearly hit. That is an open hand. That is a fumble, Kevin. 
Verdi got hit on the Hassan Reddick fumble. Is that you there? This is weak. Okay. What is it? Hey, we're having a party. Why party out? Oh, no. Josh Johnson, the veteran, is in to play quarterback. Let's go, Josh. The ball is bobbled and it's on the ground and loose. Who's going to get it? He just dropped it. I mean, that was a good snap. The Eagles have it. Sanders gets it left side. Big room and a touchdown for Sanders. No. He hit his head. He hit his head. No, what happened to the quarterback? Brock, lefty? Are you ambidextrous? Kevin Coleman in the game. We've got a couple flips back to McCaffrey. Why not? Pump fakes. Now he lets one fly, and there's no one over there. We lost our court, both quarterbacks. That's tough. Real tough. After losing four quarterbacks in the 2022 season, the 49ers fell short of Super Bowl 57. I've always believed in myself. I didn't know it would at what point it would come, but I envisioned, you know, this kind of stuff happening in terms of going and leading an NFL team down the road. It's unknown what Purdy's future holds, but he's proven to be very relevant in this league. On second and goal here, he fakes, he looks, he's in trouble, but keeps it alive and finds Mitchell. Improvisation leads to a touchdown. We did so many great things this year, and we understand what it looks like and what it takes to, to go and, and to get on the street and get hot and to win big games. He's awesome and confident in the huddle. The best part is he shows up every single day. He's humble, and all he wants to do is get better. I knew he was selfless. I knew he had high character, and you know he wants to be great and shows every day in practice. I love the game. I love competing. I love making a big play and having the crowd go crazy, and you want to win. You want to have all those other guys on the, on the field celebrate with you for doing something good, you know? This guy doesn't look like he's in the seventh year of the league. <laughs> 30, end zone throw. Oh, a fingertip catch. Great protection and wide open is Tittle, roaming free. I'm a competitor. I love to compete. I want to win at all costs. And But at the end of the day, I know that I'm not defined by, you know, the wins or losses um, as a person.